Hey, what's up guys? Jay Zab here, and today we're going to be opening these two hidden potential tins. So, um, I don't have any more of the Giratina tins. I thought I had a couple sets of each, uh, but I guess I didn't. So, this is all I got for today is just these two tins, uh, but I do see, so this little sticker here, last time I opened these, the ones that had the little sticker had Evolving Skies in them. So, well, it was just the one. I think I don't know I don't remember but I know that the sticker equaled evolving skies hopefully today these also have evolving skies I'm still opening still chasing my grail which is the moon Brion. I just want to pull it and then maybe I might be done with evolving skies after that because I've opened quite a bit of stuff just for evolving skies and then maybe I can move on to another set but we'll see what happens if you guys like content like this consider subscribing to the channel it's free for you and it helps me out immensely so thanks in advance for that I really do appreciate it, and without further ado, let's get opening. Hey guys, don't forget, every Friday I give away two JZab mystery packs to two lucky subscribers, so this week is no different. If you want to check out um, what video you have to comment on, check out this video right here. And then the next coming up Friday here, I will be giving away two uh, mystery packs, so stay tuned and hopefully you win. G good luck, and uh, now back to your regularly scheduled program. All right, so let's find out together what's this got in it. Um, I like the Gallade. I really like that promo, honestly. So we're going to go with the Rotom first. We're going to open this one first, and let's find out together. I don't remember what was in, I think the other one of these tins was Chilling Rain instead of the Evolving Skies, I, th I think. I'm pretty sure. So we're about to find out, okay? We're about to see. We're taking this journey together, guys. Here we go. What is in our tin? <laughs> Okay, I can't tell yet. I can't tell yet, and I'm gonna just try and not look. Rotom V, the promos. I'm a big fan of promo cards, especially if they're done well. This Rotom one is okay. Um, honestly, I think it's the weakest one of the three, but it's still pretty cool. I like the Gallade and the uh, Giratina better, but I also just really like Giratina, so. All right, put the promo off to the side. What do we got here? Let's take a look. Lost Origin, love the set, love the set. Oh, Fusion Strike. Evolving skies and evolving skies. All right, guys. Uh, I don't know how many times I've been disappointed by evolving skies, but apparently it's it's not enough. It hasn't been enough yet. So <laughs> we're here to watch me pull nothing from evolving skies again. But let's start off with Lost Origin. Lost Origin, one of my favorite Sword and Shield sets, if not. It's, I don't think it's my fave. I don't know. It's such a good set. This, Crown Zenith, Evolving Skies, Fusion Strike, they're all good sets. Crown Zenith and Lost Origin are up there for me, though, because I actually get pulls from them. Where Fusion Strike and Evolving Skies, I don't. So I think the more I open Pokemon cards, the more I fall more in love with Lost Origin and Crown Zenith because I actually pull cards from them, and they have a lot of good cards to pull. So... You know, not that I don't like Fusion Strike or Evolving Skies, but it's like, you know, it's only so, so many times I can open packs and not get anything and st still like the set. But, oh, look at that. He's so happy. I love Paris, too. There's a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon that I think I, re I really like and not a whole lot of other people I hear them talk about too much. One of them being Paris. I do really like Paris. I like Aerodactyl a lot, right? I like... Clefairy and Clefable, um, which are some that I feel like people don't talk about enough because Clefairy is just so adorable. I wish that they would have originally made the Pokemon pink or whatever, like they were gonna. That would have been so cool. All right, here we go. Lost Origin, last pack of this tin. Can we pull something from you today? Silcoon. Volo. Nope. All right, well, that's okay. We got the two sets that I think I get the hits from the least to finish out the day. Well, this 10, but yeah, you know, I, the thing is, is I really do like Fusion Strike a lot. I really do like Evolving Skies a lot. I just wish they liked me back, you know? Fusion Strike especially, man. When I went through, like for New Year's, right? I went through all my card openings and I, I looked at every pack I opened and I... Looked at every hit I got, and uh, Fusion Strike was my, like, one of my worst sets. We got a cook. Oh, and here I'm talking smack, and then it gives me a hit. 
I think this is this is one of the cards I've pulled from Fusion Strike like three or four times. Uh, but you know what? A hit's a hit, and I'll take it. The Greed and V. He's so greedy. Look at him. Uh, yeah, but I think Fusion Strike was one of the worst sets I had for pulls. And I opened a good amount of packs of them. And like, it wasn't like I just opened like, oh, 10 packs and I didn't get any pulls. Like, 100 packs. Three pulls, something like that. I don't know. I don't know exactly numbers, but yeah, it wasn't good. And it felt, that's what it felt like to opening all those packs. So it's not like, not like it caught me off guard, <laughs> you know. All right, Evolving Skies. Sylveon pack. What do we got? Spirit Mask. <clears throat> Gordy. Braviary. Applin. Sableye. I like that Sableye card. Nicket. Bergmite. Carvana. Jumpluff Reverse. And. Yep. I expected it. I expected it. Let's. Put... Okay. Now we got our Rayquaza pack. Though Rayquaza. You good, bro, right? You good. We're gonna we're gonna do what we need to do. Rayquaza's got our back. Alright. So if we don't get something in this pack, all we got so far from this tin was that greed didn't be, which is sucks. <laughs> but we still got a chance here. Evolving skies. What? Have you got in store for us? I love that Teddy Ursa card. Very cool. Vigoroth Reverse. Appleton. 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 Well, that's why we opened the Rotom first, right? We saved the Gallade because this one's going to have the hits in it. That's what I have to tell myself to be delusional enough <laughs> to keep pushing through here we go nah you know i go into this knowing right like i know fusion strike ain't gonna get me nothing i know evolving skies you know and then that way uh what was it with the, with spider-man right you, you got low expectations so when something doesn't happen or whatever you're not saddened by it i don't know exactly what the saying was but yeah that's all there is to it you just go into it thinking, hey, I'm not getting nothing. So when you don't, it's not it's not that upsetting. All right, we got Lost Origin, Lost Origin, Fusion Strike, Evolving Skies, Evolving Skies. All right, well, let's, let's do it up again. Let's do it up again and see... Hopefully, at least something from Lost Origin um, would be nice. Something from each one of these packs would be even better, but, you know. Let's leave. Let's live in the real world and know that. Uh, yeah. Anywho. Here we go. Licky Licky. Relicanth. Lost Vacuum. Seal. Suyan Zerua. Snover. Machop, Pikachu, I love this Pikachu card, and the reverse Pikachu of this is phenomenal. Reverse Machop, and the Suian Basque Legion. Okay, Giratina, what you got for us? You got something? Man, you know, I've been, because I, I just have them, but I've been opening a lot of tins lately, and not great. I feel like the hit rates on tins are just not there um but also when i have hit on the tins i've hit some bangers so i you know i don't know it's it's weird i don't i don't really know how to feel about the tins but dynamo mind foo love disc reverse oh my boy my boy, I was just talking about him. Aerodactyl V, let's go. Yo, honestly, I don't even know if I've pulled this yet. I did pull the alt art though. Ooh, oof. One of one of my most favorite cards from any set. And now I got this one. I don't know that I've pulled this or not. But honestly, I don't care. I'll take as many Aerodactyls as this set is willing to give me. My boy. All right, so there you go. At least two hits out of... What did we have? 10 packs out of 7 packs, right? Is that good? Is, is that a good 
<laughs> Is that good pull rates? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Fusion strike. My guy, hit me up. Look at that. You see that? Mm -hmm. Quality control. I always talk about fusion strike. The, the one upsetting thing about fusion strike, quality control on these cards, not very good. The energies always seem like they're bigger than the rest of the cards, and you can feel them when you're when you're holding the pack and lots of nicks and scrapes and bruises and not great. Deoxys and Yo! Alright, let's go! Fusion Strike! Man, see, I'm, I'm telling you guys, me and Fusion Strike, we're on the mend. It's starting to be cool. We're, we're, we're cool. We're working there, and this is awesome. I'll take this. Again, I think this is a card I have not pulled yet. I love Mew, so... Very cool. Very cool. Alright. Fusion Strike. What up, dude? What up? Now Evolving Skies, just be just as nice. Can you be just as nice as Fusion Strike just was? Can you just... Give me one hit. One hit would be great. And I that's all I'm asking. And then after that, I'll leave you alone. For a little bit. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Alright, here we go. Can we pull anything from Evolving Skies? Gold Duck. Scroll of the Fanged Drag. Loet. Love Disc. Fletchling. Chin Chow. Bedalil. Dino. Help a toad reverse. That is a dope card. I like that. And I don't even really like Stoutland all that much. But that is a very cool card. What I'm saying Evolving Skies has some good artwork. You know, obviously it's the one main chase. You're looking for this boy. But there's a lot of good artwork to be had in Evolving Skies. Same with Fusion Strike. Like I said, I know that a lot of people, their big thing is they want to hunt the Gengar. Which, you know, me too. But there's so much good artwork in Fusion Strike, so... Alright, can we get a little last pack magic? Last pack of the day. Evolving Skies. Can you give us something? Can we finish the day with a bang? Evolving Skies. Hopip. Swablu. Zerua. Triagonal. We got a pincer reverse and... Nope, never. Never. Not with evolving skies on the table. <laughs> All right, let me uh, clean this up real quick. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So here are our pulls from today. Uh, my favorite is going to be the Aerodactyl. Love me some Aerodactyl. And then next, the Mew. Very cool. And then probably, honestly, the Gallade. I really like this promo card. I think it's super dope. And then we got the Greedent V and the Rotom V. Very mid cards, in my opinion. But you know what? Um, kind of rough. Ten packs, three pulls, but you know what? With six of those packs being, you know, sets that are known to not give hits, not too shabby. And honestly, one, um, one or two from Fusion Strike, which is kind of crazy. But either way, I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. If you did, give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to subscribe, you can press this little button right here. It will subscribe you to my channel. And then, um. I'm going to put two videos up top here. If you like the content, go check out some more. Lastly, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see you later.